You made that with Kinemaster? Hi there. In today's video, we are going to learn how to start a project in Kinemaster. Um, it's going to be very beginner friendly, and all we are going to cover today is how to add media. And by media, I mean either photos or video. So the first thing you're going to do is click on this Create New. That's going to open up this page where you choose your aspect ratio. You also choose how your photos are displayed and how long they're displayed. So I'm going to choose the 16 by 9 because that is the right size for YouTube videos. These other aspect ratios are good for other social media sites. Um, you have Instagram, Instagram Reels, um, probably Facebook would go under those as well. Um, the photo display mode, this determines how your photos are going to be displayed on your project. So is it going to fit the screen? Is it going to fill the screen? Is it going to be random? Down here, we have how long the photo is going to show up on the screen. So if you just want really fast clips, you're going to set it way down here to less than half a second that they be on the screen. This one is 0.2 seconds. So that's really fast, like a blink of an eye. But if you move it this way, you can go up to very, very long durations, all the way up to about 15 seconds. Just about 15 seconds. That's a very long time to have a photo on the screen. So today for my tutorial, I'm going to choose four seconds on the screen. So it won't be on there too long. After you get everything chosen here, everything picked out, you're gonna come up here and click next. This is going to open up the media browser. So I do have a lot of media files that I can choose from because I do have another YouTube channel. So I have a lot of footage um, and things saved to my computer. But you might not have this much. Maybe you just have, you know, one file of your photos and, and videos, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, you can also choose from your cloud storage. Maybe you have stuff on your Chromebook or in your Google Drive. So you can choose from there. Um, you might have favorites. I don't have any favorites at the moment. I probably should do that and sort out my footage better. Um, but also, KineMaster has some videos that they, that they can provide for you. Uh, lots of green screen options and blue screen options. And if you wanted to buy more of their videos to help your project along, you can go into this store and that will open up all kinds of options. Most of these are only available for premium users, um, but they do have lots of options. So like I said, most of these are for kind of special effects, green screen and things like that. I honestly didn't start working in this section until I'd gotten to know KineMaster a little better. Oh, these are new. These weren't here yesterday. That's exciting. Okay, but I digress. Um, one other spot that I really like a lot, I use this all the time, is images. So these are images. They're kind of like wallpapers um, that are available by KineMaster. They make great title cards um, for the beginning and end scenes of your videos. And again, a lot of these are premium. But most of these right here, these plain ones, are available with the free KineMaster. And you can choose really any color you want. Um, they have these little paint buckets here, so you can change the color. And we'll get back to that in just a minute. Actually, why don't we just stick with that? We'll stick with that reddish colored one. And that will be the first image in our project. So once we have an image chosen, we're going to click this little check mark here. And that takes us to our main screen for editing. So we've chosen this little image here to be our first image. Now, if I want to change the color, I can click on this. And you see how it glows up yellow? That is really, really important. <laughs> when you have something up there that's glowing yellow, that means you can make changes to it. You can make it longer by dragging the handle back and forth. See, so remember we started it at four seconds? I can make it really, really short, or I can make it really, really long. I can make it as long as I want. We're gonna stick with around four seconds, so like we had it before. 
Now, if I wanted to change that, I can always go back to this, click this, this little button here where it circles around and that's gonna undo. That's the big undo button. Redo, undo, okay? And if I wanna change the color, <laughs> I got off topic there, didn't I? There's this button here that is the same color as your image. Click on that. It brings up all of these colors, lots and lots of them. And as if that weren't enough, we've got our color wheel that we can change the color. Pretty much any color you want. And if you want it this color, but maybe you want it a little darker, you can go this way all the way to black. Or you want it lighter, you can pretty much go all the way to white. So the possibilities for colors for these, um, these little images is endless, endless possibilities. How about we stick with a blue? There we go. And you see now that's changed the color of our image. Once you get it the color you want, click, click that button. And now we have our image on our movie. If we wanna preview our movie, we just come over here and click the little play button and that's going to show us our movie. So that's great for images. Now let's say we wanted to add an image of a photograph that we have in our file. We're gonna come up to this media button and click it, and that's gonna open the media browser right back up again. So I'm gonna go over to my nature pictures here, and let's choose a photograph that I like. Um, these are all nature scenes. Um, why don't we pick this one? I'm going to click on that. You see it brings it up down here. If I'm okay with that, I'm going to go ahead and click the check box. The check box. Now remember at the beginning, we talked about um, how much space our photo would take up and I had it to fill, you know, use the whole photograph. So that's why I have these black bars on either side. If I didn't want it to do that and I wanted to stretch it across the full screen, I would choose the other option back there at the beginning. Okay, so let's preview our movie. We've got our blank screen and now we've got our photo. Well, that's great. All right, I like that a lot. So now let's go ahead and add a video to our project. We're going to come right back up to the media button and click on it. And we can choose from any one of our files. I'm going to go back to my nature videos. And I think I'm going to choose the daffodils. I'm going to click on that. It pops it up. And then I'm going to click it OK with the check mark. So now I've got my daffodils on there. So we have our plain image. Now we've got our photograph. And now we've got our daffodils. And that is as easy as it is. It is very, very simple to add media footage on to our KineMaster project. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you watch the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add some sounds and remove sounds for that matter. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.